Hello and welcome to the WDW Fan Zone Show News and Events Edition. I am Stuart Sternberg, and tonight I am joined by Darlene Nagy and Jess. Welcome back. Thank it's been you. A while. <laughs> How have you been? Catch our listeners and viewers up to speed. Oh, I have a two and a half month old, and she likes to sleep during the day and stay awake at night. So it gives me lots of time to take naps, but <laughs> not so much at nighttime. It's okay. She's wonderful. She's Good. a great baby, very happy all the time, and just love yeah. having her here. You'll get her to sleep through the night soon. Oh, yeah. She's still young. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to be back. I'm excited to yeah, it's great to have news you again. All right, uh, Darlene. What news have you got for us this week? Well, we got some really exciting news. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is going to be opening up on May 27th. With that, DVC and AP, I actually got my AP email today um, before I even got a DVC one, but my AP one came in today saying that look for a preview coming to your email box soon. So I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to do that. And if you're going to be down here, watch your email because you can get in on that action as well. Um, then for the first look of the new Connections Cafe that's coming to Epcot, I got to tell you, my husband's really thrilled that there's going to be a burger on the menu again. So it looks I mean, again, it's a new restaurant, <laughs> a new place to get a burger, a new place to get a burger. Yeah, that's okay. He used oh, to me. enjoy the electric umbrella. And I had friends that I was with today, Debbie and Fred, that they liked the burgers at the electric umbrella. So, mm -hmm. yeah, when you want just a quick meal, it's, it's good to have something else available. And a, so this and a is burger is always a good choice. Yeah. And this is longing, you know, a long time coming to, to, get stuff like this again there, you know? Mm -hmm. So they've got like uh, four different sandwiches. Chicken, of course, is included. Um, they have a few uh, salads coming up. Um, French and Chinese cuisines inspired. Then they have a few uh, pizzas. It looks like there's going to be a meatball pizza, which looks kind of interesting. And then um, a four cheese pizza, too. The kids, of course, are going to have a very nice um, grilled uh, chicken bayo and then um, a chicken nugget basket and a cheeseburger. Ugh, the dessert looks so good. We've got a waffle with strawberries and whipped cream and chocolate sauce that looks to mm. die for let me tell you um then there's going to be a mango coconut milkshake um and there is a apple pie gelato shake that kind of looks really good um then we've got watermelon mint agua fresca um and then there is also going to be multiple wines and draft beers for the over 21 crowd along with a cucumber and thai basil cooler cocktail so it looks like it's going to have a very rounded menu and of course they'll be serving starbucks coffee so well there's yeah there's a starbucks that's going to be connected to it I connected to it but yeah. i don't know if they're opening at the same time yeah so and I don't we know, don't have also, a date yeah i also so. don't know if you can order the Starbucks with your food at the same time. That I don't know either. <laughs> right. I almost dropped my glass because my thumb went. <laughs> oh, that's all the news I have. All right. Jess, all right. what's um, for you? Yes. So just a heads up, if you are heading to Hollywood Studios on Wednesday this week, uh, April 6th, it will close at 5 p.m. Now it will open at eight, I believe also. So yes. they, they have an earlier hour, but, um, but make sure you, you know that it will be closed at five. We do not have a reason why yet. Sometimes they will close the parks for 
somebody renting the park out or for the cast members to have a little get together party, whatever, but they, they did not give us a reason. So yeah. we are left speculating. <laughs> um, April 30th and May 1st, Dapper Days are coming back to Disney. April 30th will be at Epcot and May 1st will be at Hollywood Studios. Mm. I did remember something else, if you don't mind me throwing this on. I uh, All this talk about food reminded me that I did see that Backlot Express has a new menu. I believe this Ooh. has started already. I hope that burger's still on that menu. <laughs> I know. There is still there's still burger on there. I don't know right. if it's the same kind of burger, but yeah. this is what I'm excited because I'm a big barbecue fan and I like to check the different barbecue venues around Disney. My favorite being Flame Tree Barbecue. Oh, way. yes, I agree. Um, but now they have barbecue added to Backlot Express, which is exciting because it's right in the middle of Hollywood mm -hmm. Studios. And I feel like that's a good spot for it. But anyway, it um, it's a smoked barbecue pulled pork burger, which is a one third pound Angus beef burger topped with slow smoked pulled pork. American cheese, coleslaw, crispy onions, and house-made <sighs> sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. Stuart, I see a, a research trip going. Yeah, research so it's a trip, burger a food with trip. pork on top. Oh, yeah. it sounds Ooh. so good. Um, that is with a choice of side for fourteen twenty nine. There is a healthier option, a Southwest salad. Uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with romaine. Uh, Roasted corn relish and diced tomatoes topped nice. with pickled red onion, cheese, and served with jalapeno lime ranch dressing. Hmm. It's house made. That's $9.99. If you add for... chicken, it's $11.29. That sounds good for someone else. I want that burger. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I gotta try the burger too. This one looks good. There's a picture with it too. Um, it's a teriyaki chicken bowl. Ooh. So it's uh, seasoned jasmine rice, teriyaki chicken, yuzu pickled edamame, carrots, cucumber, onions drizzled with house-made lemon, tahini, chipotle vinaigrette, and hmm. sesame seeds. That sounds um, really good. That's twelve ninety-nine. Sounds good. So those are some new things to try. I'm very excited about that. I wonder so, if they still have the Cuban sandwich on there because that was really good. I don't know of anything that's been taken off the menu. I know these yeah. are just so I will uh, mm -hmm. research that while Stuart get, is giving his news. And then okay, well, well you, before I do the news, I want to mention the greatest, the best, the most amazing travel planner you'll find anywhere on this planet. And of course, I'm talking about the one, the only, the evervescent Mouse Fan Travel. Mouse Fan Travel is your one-stop shop for all your vacation planning needs. So whether it's going to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, an adventure by Disney, something else. You may not want to do a Disney vacation. You've, have you heard about the crowds? Well, if you want to avoid the crowds and you want to go someplace else or another theme park, I wouldn't go to the other theme park. But Mouse Fan Travel can help you out no matter where or whatever you want to do. They work with you, your group. Whoever you're going with, your family, whoever it may be, with your budget, they do things your way. Who else does that for their clients? Nobody. Your way, the best way, the right way. They've got great deals going on right now. And you can find out more about everything Mouse Fan Travel has to offer by going to www.mousefantravel.com. That is www.mousefantravel.com. All right, Jess. Um, I would like to add that the Cuban sandwich is still on the menu. Oh, good. That was yeah. a really good sandwich. So it looks like they had just added these things and That's good. did not take anything off. That's great. Just a word of note to our listeners and viewers out there. Don't take Darlene's word for it. Try it yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so... On April 18th, the traditional character meet and greets are returning to Walt Disney World. I'm not sure if we mentioned that last week or not, but in any event, that is big news. Um, Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival returns from July 14th through November 19th. So it'll be here before you know. July 4th ends, uh, what is? what are they doing now? The um, Flower and Garden. Flower and Garden. And then 
week or so later. later. Yeah, yeah, 10 days. Have, I mean, that's really quick. That is that's quick. a really quick turnover. Yep, absolutely. Uh, there will be over 25 marketplaces for the festival, and already confirmed to be returning are the Apple Orchard, Hops and Barley, Earth Eats, Shimmering Sips, and my favorite, the sw- and it's just for the name, it's my favorite, the Swanky Sauce Swine. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was also announced that the Eat to Be concert series will return from, um, for the Food and Wine Festival. Also returning is... Emile's Fromage Montage and Remy's Scavenger Hunt. Other news, the nighttime Starlight Safari returns to the Animal Kingdom Lodge on April 22nd. All right, bad news here for Jelly Roll fans. Jelly Roll is located at Disney World's Boardwalk has increased its admission price from $15 to $18. Disney's All-Star Sports, All-Star Sports Resort reopened on March 31st. On May 23rd, in-person learning returns to the Disney Institute. That's good news. Mm -hmm. Uh, Disney World is looking to become more energy self-reliant with hopes of 40% of the energy used at Disney World to be solar in the future. There are two new solar there are two new solar facilities, try to say that 10 times fast, that are expected to come online sometime in 2023. All right, there's a recall to announce here. The FDA has voluntarily recalled two of Disney's 2.11 ounce hand sanitizers that were made in April and May of 2020. The Mickey Mouse Blue Formulation Hand Sanitizer with lot number 20D21 expiring on 6-30-22. And the Mandalorian Blue and Green Formulation Hand Sanitizer from lot 20E21 that expires 9 30 20, uh, 2022. Uh, testing of the products found methanol in the Mickey Mouse hand sanitizer and benzene in the Mandalorian hand sanitizer. If you have either of these products, you should immediately stop using them. Questions and refund requests may be sent to best brands at qualitybrandsinternational.com. And it's qualitybrandsintl.com. Disney Cruise Line has updated its COVID-19 policies for the return of self-service buffets aboard the ships. Now, the buffets had already returned, but now they're going back to self-service. I'm not so sure if I'm happy about that, but that's the way it is. Uh, With 23 nominations, Disney took home six Oscars last week at the Academy Awards, which is no slap in the face. Little joke there. (laughs) Um, And Kanto won for Best Animated Feature Film. Ariana DeBose won Best Actress for Supporting Role in 2021 Remake of West Side Story. Disney's Cruella won Best Costume Design. Mm -hmm. Jessica Chastain won Best Actress in a Leading Role for her portrayal of Tammy Faye Baker in the movie The Eyes of Tammy Faye Baker. Um, That film also won the award for Best Makeup and Hairstyling. And the final Academy Award that was won for Oscar was Summer of Soul, which won for Best Documentary. Disney received seven nominations at this year's Grammy Awards and came home with winners of three. The United States versus Billie Holiday won Best Compilation for Visual Media. Summer of Soul won Best Music Film. And Soul, great Pixar movie, won Best Score Soundtrack for Visual Media. Good. And finally, I've got sad news to report. Actress Estelle Harris has passed away. She passed away on Saturday, as a matter of fact, in Palm Desert, California. Best known for her role as George Costanza's mother in the hit TV show Seinfeld, Harris was also the voice of Mrs. Potato Head in the Disney Pixar Toy Story movies. Estelle Harris was 93. Darlene? Time for park hours. Okay. And just so you guys know, I got to see uh, the Pointer Sisters today. And there is one original member and her daughter and granddaughter sing with her. They are fantastic. I wish I could have seen them two days in a row. But she got all my my songs in and I was a happy camper. The last time I seen them was back in the 80s (laughs) in Toronto. (laughs) Were you so excited? I I was so excited and I jumped too. (laughs) Okay. So onto the park hours, magic kingdom. So we've got um, Wednesday is going to open at 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Thursday is going to open at 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So one hour shorter. And then we're back to the rest of the week 
uh, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Epcot is going to be 8.30 to 9 p.m. Uh, Hollywood Studios, Wednesday is going to be 8 to 5, but then the rest of the week is going to be 8 to 9. Animal Kingdom is going to be at 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Typhoon Lagoon, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Disney's Boardwalk Resort, 6.30 to 10 p.m. Disney's Hollywood Studios, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to 11 p.m. Friday, Saturday, 10 to 11.30 p.m. And then Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, 10 to 11.30 or 10 to 11, sorry. <laughs> ah, so that's it for me. Let's do weather. Yeah, well, the weather, be prepared for the weather to bounce around a little bit. Mm. Uh, let's see what's today's Monday. All right, so tomorrow we're going to have a high of 89, a low of 71. Wednesday, it goes up to 91 with a low of 73. Thursday, chance of rain with a high of 85 and a low of 62. Friday, a little cooler. 74 for the high, 57 for the low. Saturday, an almost repeat with 74 for the high, 52 for the low. Sunday, we stay in the 70s. It gets up to 76 and goes down to 54. And Monday, we warm up a little bit more with a high of 82 and a low of 61. And that is the weather for the upcoming week at Walt Disney World. And I just want to make a mention. I was no. in. No, yep. no. Yep. <laughs> yep. I was in Epcot on Saturday and I was very happy I had my ponchos and umbrellas. Um, it monsooned inside the park again. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> now, I can understand somebody who's traveled here on vacation knowing what the weather was going to be like that day going to the parks because you don't have a choice. You live here. Are you crazy? Cancel the reservation and go a different day. <laughs> Well, my husband was off and we were going to, you know, nibble a bit around the world. So uh, <laughs> that's what we did. We we got our potato pancakes from Germany and we got the pizza window was open in uh, at Vianopoly. Was so, there, yeah, but it, how did you maneuver that with it being so wet outside? And where that's the eat? thing. It wasn't supposed to rain until later and it actually started raining right at three o'clock when our dear friend Lou Mangello was supposed to have his meat of the month. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a handful of us that did go to that meet of the month. <laughs> yeah. But I I'm telling you, um, it was uh, my friend Debbie said she got soaked. They were literally, it hurt. The rain was hitting so hard. That's how windy it was. And the bamboo in Japan where we were was actually swaying. So it, the wind picked up and it was, it was bad. Yeah. Does anybody know how it affected the runners? The runners were fine this weekend. It didn't rain. It yeah, rained either good. before or yeah, after, it, which yeah. was fantastic. I mean, yeah, that I, was I the best. Hope, yeah, I just hope that none of the runners had their flights canceled. I know there were a lot of cancellations. Yeah. Well, um, a f I know a couple have had their flights canceled. One mm -hmm. of the one of the runners that was staying with my friend Debbie, um, his flight got canceled and couldn't get one out until Tuesday. Thanks. Oh mm -hmm. boy. Yeah, I know. I know somebody that had their flight canceled, and thank God they switched. Before, before, when it was just in a little bit of a delay, they switched their flights. Before right. They got wind of it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, all right, that wraps it up for us this week. We will be back later in the week with our regular show. So until next time, everybody, be safe. Bye bye. See you real soon. Have a magical night and stay safe.